Healthy eating helps you feel happier and healthier. To be healthy, it's recommended that you eat a variety of foods from each of the different food groups. Try to eat more high fibre foods. Eat less of the foods that are high in fat, have added sugar and salt. Drink less alcohol and be as active as you can every day. Healthy eating is about finding a balance between the foods you should eat more of every day and the foods that are best to eat occasionally. So what does this mean? Let's take a closer look. Foods from the grains and cereals group are a good source of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are very important because our brain and muscles need them for energy. Grain and cereal foods can be broken up into four main groups. These are breads, breakfast cereals, grains and other products. Most adults need to eat between three and six serves of grains and cereals every day. So what does a serve look like? When choosing grain and cereal foods, look for those that are whole grain and high in fibre. These are good to eat every day as they have more vitamins and minerals than processed varieties and they help you feel fuller for longer. In Australia we have access to a wide variety of different fruits. Fruit is a good source of fibre and contains lots of different vitamins and minerals. Fruit is a great snack as you can take it anywhere and it's a very healthy dessert option. Aim to eat at least two serves of fruit each day. So what does a serve look like? All types of fruit can be eaten every day. Where possible, try to eat fresh fruit. If it is the type of fruit that you can eat with the skin on, you should, as this is a source of fibre. There are many different types of vegetables and legumes grown in Australia that are available right throughout the year. It's important to eat a variety of different types of vegetables, beans and legumes each day. Try to eat a range of different colours. Starchy vegetables such as sweet potato, taro, cassava or sweet corn should form only a small part of your daily vegetable intake. Aim to eat at least two serves of beans and legumes a week and at least five serves of vegetables each day. So what does this look like? It can be hard work trying to eat five serves of vegetables each day. However, you can do almost anything with vegetables. Eat them raw as a snack, grate them and add them to pasta sauces and vegetable bakes. Slice them and add them to soups and salads. Stir fry, steam, boil or bake them. Dairy and its alternatives are a great source of protein and calcium which help to keep our bones and teeth strong. Aim to eat two to four serves of dairy or alternatives every day. So, what does a serve look like? Full fat dairy is high in saturated fat, which is bad for your heart, so always choose reduced fat options. Eating dairy foods is the easiest way to meet your calcium requirements. However, you can get some calcium from other foods. We are lucky in Australia to have a great variety of different meats and alternatives. These foods are an important source of protein and iron, which is needed for the repair and rebuilding of our muscles, organs and other tissues, as well as keeping our blood cells healthy. Aim to eat two to three small servings of these foods each day. So, what does a serve look like? When choosing these foods, try to choose fresh, unprocessed meats a handy hint for remembering the portion size of meats and alternatives is to think of the palm of your hand as the same size as two serves. Oily fish such as salmon, sardines, mackerel and herring are a good source of unsaturated or healthy fats which are great for your heart. Try to include two to three serves of these fish each week. You may have been told in the past to reduce all types of fat in your diet. What is important is eating the right types of fat so that our heart and brain can stay healthy and to reduce the risk of heart attack and stroke.
Eating too much fat, even healthy fat, can contribute to weight gain, so use it in small amounts. So, what does a small amount look like? Fat is needed for healthy heart and brain function and has an important role in our body, including helping to absorb some vitamins and forming part of our cell walls. Did you know that keeping hydrated is just as important as eating healthy foods? Always try to choose water before anything else. For people who drink alcohol, it's recommended that you drink no more than two standard drinks each day and that you aim to have a few alcohol-free days each week. So, what is a standard drink? If you have diabetes and you are on insulin or taking certain types of diabetes tablets, then alcohol can cause your blood glucose levels to drop. You will need to talk to your doctor to see if it's safe for you to drink alcohol. Let's look back on these healthy eating messages. Eating the recommended amount from each food group is easier than you think. Let's see how you can do this. Eat three to six serves of whole grain or whole meal grains and cereals. Eat two to three serves of lean meats or alternatives. Eat five or more serves of vegetables, legumes and beans. Eat at least two serves of fruit and eat two to four serves of low-fat dairy foods or alternatives. So, what does this look like when we put it all together as meals? Breakfast is the most important meal of the day as it gives you the energy you need to refuel your body after a night of rest. Your breakfast should include some high-fibre bread, cereals or grains to give you the energy you need to get you through the morning. Try adding some protein from some low-fat dairy or an egg and some fruit and vegetables for a balanced meal. Just like breakfast, your other meals should also be high in fibre. Include a source of protein, plenty of vegetables or salad and some legumes or whole grains. For some people, it's a good idea to have a small snack between your main meals to stop you from feeling too hungry or overeating. A healthy snack is low in fat and added sugar and can also be a good source of fibre. Some foods and drinks do not fit into the five food groups because they are not necessary for a healthy diet. It's best to try and avoid these foods and drinks. However, they can be enjoyed on special occasions in small amounts. Eating too much food, even if it is healthy, can lead to weight gain. Reducing the size of your meals is one of the easiest things you can do to help you maintain a healthy weight. If you divide your plate up into parts, aim to fill at least half of your plate with non-starchy vegetables or salad. Your protein portion should take up a quarter of your plate. Your carbohydrate portion should take up another quarter of your plate. Eating out at restaurants or buying takeaway foods can be enjoyed on occasion. When you're buying takeaway foods, try to make healthier choices where possible. It's best to limit takeaway foods as much as possible. Perhaps enjoy them on special occasions or no more than once per week. The way that we cook is just as important as the type of foods that we choose. Try to choose cooking methods that reduce the amount of fat in your meals. If you have any questions about diabetes or healthy eating, Diabetes Australia Victoria provides a free and confidential telephone advice and support service. You can call 1300 136 588 and ask to speak to a diabetes nurse educator, dietitian or advocacy officer. If you are in Victoria, you can access the Diabetes Multilingual Info Line on 1300 801 164 or the Koori Diabetes Info Line on 1300 Koori free of charge. 
please note that these are not an emergency service. If you require urgent advice or help, you should call triple zero.